What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So part two of the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl event is starting around the world in Pokemon Go. Let's go through all the event details and then some tips and tricks for the event, timestamps below as always. By the way, if you feel like I'm speaking too fast or too slow during this video, feel free to change the speed of this video in the YouTube menu below. Okay, so the part one of the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl event is finishing off and part two is starting. It's gonna be November 18th, 10 a.m. to November 21st, 8 p.m. all local time. A lot of things are gonna be the same. So bonuses are gonna be the same. We're gonna have a half incubator distance and one third super incubator distance. I'll put up the incubator distances on screen since I had them incorrect in the last video. Sorry about that. But shout out to the person who had this comment giving us the correct ones. The costume Pokemon from last event will still be live. So all six of these guys and the collection challenge as well is still live if you haven't completed it. You're not going to get a new collection challenge, but you can complete the collection challenge. And by the way, that encounter is a frost last. Wild spawns for this part of the event. We have Pinsir, Mischievous, Houndoom's Field, Cryptic, Chimchar, and Piplup, all with the Dawn hat, which is the second hat. The first part of the event, we had the Lucas hat. And now we have the Dawn hat. We have Bidoof, Cricketog, Bunnery Glammeow, and then rare spawns are going to be Slowpoke, Bagon, Burmy in the Sand Cloak, and Buzel. All of those Pokemon can be shiny except for Sfeel. Eggs are going to be the exact same, so we have Badoo, Bonsly, Junior Mime, Happiny, and Riolu all have shiny potential. Remember that you need to get these eggs during the event timeframes for them to hatch these Pokemon. Any old 7 kilometer eggs from past events will not hatch these Pokemon. Raids for part 2 of the event. In 1 stars, we have Shieldon, Drifloom, and Bronzor. In 3 stars, we have Salamance, cool, cool raid, Lopunny, Drapion, Toxicroak, and Gallade. In 5 stars, of course, we have Cresselia, which knows the legacy move grass knot and in mega raids we do have megalopony you can still claim the free bundle if you haven't that contains 20 pokeballs and one Sinnoh stone in the shop that was active during part one as well as the great box for 300 poke coins this is a one-time purchase box that gets you three super incubators two incubators and a lure module there is a visual bug right now in which the lure module actually looks like a pokeball niantic told us this is a bug and with that when you do buy the great box you actually do get the lure module it's just a visual bug showing a pokeball research for this part of the event first of all most of them are going to be the same so we have cashew chip Chimchars for a Chimchar with the Lucas hat, which is the one that was spawning in the wild last event. Same with Castro Piplups for Piplup with the Lucas hat, Castro Turtwigs for a Turtwig with the Lucas hat, Trade a Pokemon for a Burmy in the Plant Cloak or the Trash Cloak, and then win a raid for a Larvitar encounter and win a level three or higher raid for a Kranidos encounter. All of the field research task encounters can be shiny, but I believe they're all full odds, so around one in 400. Okay, that's it for the event details. Let's get into the tips, starting with what are the best wild spawns in the wild. First of all, Pinsir spawning in the wild. Pinsir does have a mega potential in the future and I believe it's going to be the best bug type raid attacker. So make sure you get those pincers, try to get them XL candies to get a level 51. But remember, you need to be level 40 to collect XL candies. We also have Houndor spawning in the wild, evolving into Houndoom. Houndoom does have a mega currently in game. So if you don't have a good Houndoom for mega, make sure you get those Houndors and you can even get XL candies if you want to level 50 that bad boy. Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup all with the hats cannot evolve. Remember that. However, catching them still does get you candy. The only Sinnoh starter that's actually relevant in this last form is going to be Empoleon in the Ultra League. So make sure you catch those piplups if you want to get some candy for that Pokemon. We also have Bunnery, which evolves into Lopunny. Lopunny does have a Mega right now. If you don't have a good Lopunny for the Mega form, make sure you get that. We also have Slowpoke evolving into Slowbro. And Slowbro does have a Mega currently in game as well. So same thing goes. Get those candies for it. We also have Bagon evolving into Salamance. Now Salamance right now is a very good Dragon type Ray attacker. Have you do need its Legacy move Outrage on it, which you can get by either using an Elite Charge TM or waiting for an event in which you can evolve Bagon into Salamance to get it. Also Salamance does have a Mega potential in the future, which will be one of the best dragon type raid attackers so make sure you get ready for that if you're a shiny hunter by the way and curious about shiny rates all of these wild pokemon i believe are going to be the regular one in 400 shiny odds so no perma boosted pokemon in this bunch so just make sure you're out there checking if you're trying to get any of these pokemon shiny now let's take a look at the raids what are the best raids for this part of the event starting with the one stars shield on's not a bad one to get because bastion is a really good great league pokemon specifically you're going to want it above level 40 so you're going to need xl candies to get that one so catching those shield on's training them with pokemon caught more than 100 kilometers away will get you a guaranteed XL candy. We also have Drifloom evolving into Driftblim. Driftloom is a good Ultra League and Great League Pokemon, specifically for special cups. Same thing goes for that one. You're going to want to trade it because if you want to get those XL candies. Finally, Bronzor, although it doesn't have any meta use, Bronzor is a perma boosted shiny. So that's going to be a one in 64 chance to get a shiny from the one star raids. As far as three star raids goes, first of all, we have Salamance. Salamance is guaranteed two XL candies when you do catch it. And like we mentioned before, Salamance is a good Dragon type attacker and does have that mega. As well as Lopunny, which does have the mega, but Mega Lopunny is in raids right now. So there's no point in doing a regular Lopunny raid. We have Drapion. Drapion is actually a good Ultra League Pokemon with the recent poison buffs, but you do need an XL to run it in that league. However, when you do catch a Drapion, you're guaranteed one XL candy, so great to get those XLs. Same goes with Toxicroak, a good, great, and Ultra League Pokemon. However, in the Ultra League, you need XL candies, and you will be getting one guaranteed XL candy every one you catch. Finally, same goes with Gallade. Gallade is a good Ultra League Pokemon. You do not need an XL for Ultra League. However, Gallade also does have a Mega in the future. If you're curious about if Grass Knock Cresselia is good, you know, counters for Grass Knock Cresselia, how to get a Grass Knock Cresselia for the Great League, 
League. I talked about all that in the diamond tips and tricks video. So I'll link that below in which you can scrub through all the timestamps and find out information about Chris Cause we're not going to go through that. And same goes with Megalopony. We talk about how to get mega energy for Megalopony without raiding it and all that. That's all going to be linked below. Check that out because I'm not going to repeat myself. Now eggs for this part of the event are going to be the same instead of telling you guys if they're worth it or not, because in the last video I said, they're going to be kind of worth it. I want to take a look at what the rates are so far based off what people have hatched. Since they're going to be the exact same, we can take a deeper dive. Silk Road has a bit of data on this. 28 eggs were hatched. And of those 28, we had nine Badoos, six Happenies, five Bonsleys, four Junior Mimes, and four Riolus. So it looks like Badoo and Happenie are going to be the most common. Bonsley is the middle of the bunch and Junior Mime and Riolo are going to be the most rare. Now it comes to shiny rates. Silk Road is telling me that all of these Pokemon are going to be perma boosted shinies, except for Happenie. As you can see, Badoo he is here. Bonsley is here. Junior Mime's here. Riolu is here. I don't see the Happenie, but I believe it's perma boosted as well. This means that the shiny rate is going to be around one in 64 for these hatchable Pokemon. I'm going to leave you guys with that. You guys can decide if you're going to continue on the eggs. I haven't hatched any eggs from this event because I've been chewing through a 10 kilometer egg that I accidentally incubated with a regular incubator before the event, but feel free to hatch them if you want. So far, I've seen people getting what they want and those Riolu hatches are pretty nice. Now, because we want to talk about research. Now, there's three actually pretty good research tasks currently going down. First of all, trade a Pokemon can get you Burmy with a Trash Cloak. In my other tips video, I didn't mention Wormadan Trash is actually a good special cup Pokemon. We saw it in the Love Cup and I believe a couple other cups, Wormadan Trash actually had some meta play. So make sure you do get yourself a Burmy Trash Cloak to run Wormadan Trash if you want one for any future special cups because that Pokemon is actually pretty decent. Also, the winner raid task can get you a Larvitar. Larvitar was spawning in the wild during the Diamond event. And as we know, Larvitar into Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a good rock and dark type rare attacker and does have a mega in the future. So a very good Pokemon to get. Make sure if you are doing this research task, get three winned raid tasks, and then you only have to do one raid and you get three Larvitar encounters. And we even have the win at level three or higher raid that gets you a Krandos encounter, Krandos into Rampardos. Rampardos is a very good rock type raid attacker. So as long as you have three of a combination of these two tasks, do one raid and then you can get your encounter. So just make sure you're stacked these tasks and not doing only one raid if you only have one task. Now that I have your intention, guys, I need to tell you guys something very important for you guys to complete. Yesterday, Niantic tweeted out that trainers, we want to clarify that to receive the end of season special research story for the free, you must complete the misunderstood mischief special research by the end of the season mischief on December 1st at 9.59 a.m. So if you haven't completed this research right here with this name, make sure you complete it because if you don't, you're going to have to pay for the next research. It says here, if you're working on the Catch 30 Dark Type Pokemon special research, Dark Types will be appearing more often from November 16th, 10 a.m. to November November 21st, 8 p.m. As you can see, that's this event here. We do have Hound Doom spawning in the wild. And it says if you're working on the 30 ghost type Pokemon task, Mistrevis is also spawning in the wild, so you can get that Pokemon. If you don't anticipate completing the misunderstood special research by December 1st, you will have the opportunity to purchase ticket to the Mischief Unbound Special Research Story in the shop for $5 from November 26th until December 1st. So what this means is pretty much you have to complete this research or you're going to be paying $5 for the Mischief Unbound Special Research. Mischief Unbound, that's pretty much saying that we're going to be catching Hoopa Unbound during this research. So if you don't complete this research, guys, then you know, you're not good. You're going to have to pay $5 to catch Hoopa Unbound. So just make sure if you're on those tasks, complete that. And if you're struggling with any other specific task, comment below, maybe we can help you out. That's pretty much all my tips for the event. Again, this is a shorter video because I covered so many more tips in the diamond part of the event. Since the diamond and pearl event, although they're split up, the only thing really changing is gonna be the wild spawns and the raids. So feel free to check the video below and cart it up here. Make sure you watch that video because in there we talk about a lot of tips that have to do with this event because the events are pretty similar. I just don't wanna repeat myself right now. And it's a lot easier for you guys to just go back, watch that video, and then you'll be ready for this event. Before I end this video, I am currently doing a friend code giveaway. If you wanna add me in Pokemon Go, I'm gonna link below a video in which will explain how to add me. Two things I didn't explain in that video. First of all, if you're trying to enter the giveaway, do not put YouTube as your method of contact because you cannot message people on YouTube. There's no messaging system making it very hard for me to get your code if you win. Also, some people have told me that their comments are getting blocked by YouTube. Don't worry about that. If your comment gets blocked, it's still going through. YouTube is just putting it up for review. And when I do go ahead and use a random comment picker to pick a winner, before I do that, I'm going to make sure that all the comments that are under review have been approved and are actually shown. Just leave your comment. Even if it gets blocked, don't worry. It's still there. I It will be put into the draw. With that being said, guys, that's pretty much tips for the video. Again, go check out the other tips video because in there, there's a lot of tips that have to do with this event because this event is pretty much the exact same as the last event. And also comment below any tips I might have missed for this event, guys. We're going to see you all in the next one of Follow Corner Tips, everyone. Have a great day. Peace.